Hi, my name is Emmanuel Ramos from InfoSecurityAcademy.com. My examination tip for the day is this. When studying for your CSSP exam, make use of mind maps created by you. Do not make use of mind maps that are created by other people. Now, I'm going to explain to you why you shouldn't do this. You see, mind maps are to help you to map out your thoughts and what you are learning in a process so that your brain can follow and this process and understand it and by doing that able to remember in a more effective order what you're learning. Now if you're making use of mind maps that were created by other people then you are defeating this purpose because it doesn't really work. What works best is to create your own mind maps. Now mind maps are a great way of learning and the greatest part of it is if you create them yourself it will really help you to understand your CSSP training program and be able to pass the exam more effectively. What I would recommend is this for every domain create a mind map. So while you are doing this study create a mind map for cryptography, create a mind map for info introduction to information security and etc. That way when you are done you will have series of mind maps for these different domains or main topics of the CSSP certification. Now you can create these mind maps by making use of great software but do not buy any software because there are great software out there that you can make use of and they are free. For example Xminds is a software that you can get online that you'll be able to create your own mind maps for free. And if you want to do some much more complicated stuff like exporting it to a PDF, then you might have to pay a little amount of money like $40 or, or such to get a license to be able to do that. But the free version is sufficient for you to create mind maps, save them, review them, and use them for your examination. The second software is FreeMind. FreeMind is absolutely free. It is an open source software that you can make use of and it does everything a commercial software will do. But my personal favorite is EastMind because I really love the way the software is set up. So guys, basically that's my tip for today. Make use of mind maps, but don't make use of mind maps created by other people. Create mind map for each of the CSSP certification domain. Review them, go through them, and be able to master the materials that you are studying. I hope you enjoy my tip. I'll see you in my next tip. Take care and God bless.